Brian and Waveform. Today we're going to talk about how to install your Waveform device. So let's talk about the tools that you're going to need and about how long it's going to take. So luckily you're just going to need one tool, screwdriver, and that's it. Uh, I've got a pocket knife too, um, and this is not a product plug by any, any means, but I've got a Klein 11-in-1 tool, and if I had one tool to have on my boat, this would be the tool I would have. Our system is pretty unique. It, we have a universal wiring harness and it fits any pump configuration that's out there. So if you have uh, one fill pump and three drain pumps on a solenoid manifold like we do on the Supra, uh, the harness will work. If you have three fill pumps and three drain pumps, the harness will work. If you have three reversible pumps, the harness will work. So today we're going to talk about how to do it and the steps to take. Hey, so let's talk about your wiring harness. Um, we're not going to talk uh, in depth about how switches work in this episode, but we are going to talk about uh, how to install these wires and what this thing on the end is. Um, but the first and most important thing you need to do is find your rocker panel switch. Mine's right over there. We're going we're gonna to dive in in a second. But first thing, take a picture, please. I mean. I don't want a phone call at 2 in the morning and you disconnected all of your wires from behind your steering wheel and you need help uh, reconnecting. I will help you, but um, let's just head it off at the pass. Take a picture, picture, pull your rocker panel back, take a picture of all the wires. They're all going to be different colors. So, or you can write it down if that's your thing. I like pictures. All right. So, power's off. Um, I've talked to you a little bit about plug and play. I haven't shown you what, what that means yet, but um, we're going to talk about it here. So every rocker switch is going to look exactly the same on the back of it. You'll have, well, let me back up. It, uh, all rocker switches will have the same spade spacing. You may not have all of the spades that this one has, but the spade spacing will be the same. Um, some rocker switches have eight spades. Most have seven. Um, the top of the uh, switch is your ground. Um, and this little thing right here, this is a plug socket. This is a rocker switch socket. So you are going to unplug our wires off your switch one by one and you're going to match them up to our wires and then when you're all done uh, hooking the wires up you're going to physically take your rocker switch out and you're going to push it in and plug it in uh, to this uh, female socket. You'll remember that I told you the most important thing to do, turn off the power and take a picture. Your rocker panel switch is out. We're going to disconnect our ground and we're going to hook it to our ground here. We're going to take the top left position wire. We're going to take it off. And we're going to look at our rocker switch here. And we're going to look at our top left position. And it is gray. And the wire we took off just happens to be gray. That's a, a total coincidence, but um, I, will, I will take it. So, okay. So, next one. We're gonna take this pink wire, which is hot. We're gonna we're gonna go to my switch. And we're gonna remove the next one down. Okay. We're gonna find the hot that matches this one. So again, we're just staying in line, moving down this way. We're gonna find this hot. We're gonna plug it in to the same position that was on the switch. And then the last wire in this row is yellow. 
We're going to unplug it. We're going to find the last wire in that row, and it is also yellow. We're going to plug it in. Almost there. We have another, our next wire down, which is also a hot. So we're going to take it off. We're going to find the wire that it corresponds to. And we're going to plug it in. All right, so we got one last wire on this rocker switch. We're going to take it off. And we're going to find the last wire that's on this, this plug. We're going to plug it in. So now we have, we're going to pop the switch out. We have a completely disconnected rocker switch. We're going to put our harness through the little hole right here. We're gonna make sure our little tab matches up with this little hole. Again, there's only one way you're gonna be able to put it in and you're going to work it in there. So, we got two smart pumps now. So, we're not gonna cut, we're gonna just keep going. Our last harness. We're going to Disconnect the ground. I had already disconnected this ground. We're going to disconnect this ground. We're going to find the ground on our wiring harness. We're going to connect them. And then we're going to move again. If you're looking at the back of our switch, we have the left side, then we have the right side. We're going to always start on the left. We're going to move our way down. So the wire that's in the top left position is gray. The next position down on the rocker switch. It is, this one happens to be brown. We're gonna plug it in to that switch. We're gonna, still on the left hand side, we're gonna unplug the next switch. And we're gonna find the wire that it corresponds to. We're gonna trace it back, and here's this this male spade. Where did you go? Oh, here we go. We're going to plug these in. So, last wire on that row. We're going to find our last wire which is always gonna be yellow. Last wire on the left-hand side, so bottom left is yellow. We're going to connect these two. We're gonna go back over to the pump. Let me do the rocker switch. We're gonna unhook the next wire down. And we're going to find the wire that it corresponds to. Um, and one thing I have not mentioned in these last videos, uh, we do not, on this setup on my rocker switch switches i did not have a wire connected in let me let me take this off okay so here's our switch this is always ground this is the left side, this is the right side. So on this right side, on my particular boat, I had the ground hooked up and on none of my rocker switches, this spade was never occupied. So I'm not going, I'm going to physically skip a space on our harness and we're gonna go to the next spade. So, like in our current setup, we don't use any of the blue wires. You, again, you may if you're, you have a reversible pump set up or you have a three-fill, three-drain. Um, but wherever it is on your rocker switch, you're going to unplug it and you're going to plug it into the same position on ours. So, 
Here we go. I plug, plug my grounds in. The top position for this one, I've actually already done this one. I've gotten, I, I skipped my blue. That, that's right. That's where I was. So the next one down was my pot, which was this one right here. And I connect these two. And then the very last position on our switch. So this thing right here um, was orange. So I unplugged it. And I'm going to find the last position on ours. Again, just matching them up one for one. And we're going to plug it in. So we have completely hooked this rocker switch back up. <clears throat> Line up my tab. And we plug it in. Oh, hold on. I forgot to stick it through the hole. Yes, that is what she said. But um, <laughs> anyway, so stick it through the hole. Put your rocker switch back in place. So all of your rocker switches uh, are back in your panel. Okay, so last thing. Um, you're gonna need to find, whew, uh, film me upside down, it's just not fun. Um, you're gonna need to find a suitable place to power this on with. Um, and I've got a, I've got a fuse block. Uh, on my rocker panel switch. So I'm just going to take off one of the red wires and I'm going to find my red wire that I sent you. And you're, we're gonna put a piggyback on it. So we're going to plug our red wire onto this spade. And then we're going to find the red wire that you just unplugged. We're gonna plug it into our piggyback. And we gave you a ground wire power cable. You're going to find a ground. You're going to plug it into the ground. We'll send you a few piggyback spades. And um, what I would actually recommend is when you um, when you get your rocker panel switch off. Take all your grounds off, and you can uh, uh, put piggyback spades on. Uh, put the piggyback spades we're going to send you with them. Put them on, and then you can just easily tie your grounds together. So the ground is in. All my switches are plugged up. So put your. Uh, screws back on and you're done okay so here we are again uh you have gotten your panel screwed back on your box installed press the power button your light should light up now uh first thing you need to check make sure your switches still work so fill listen for the pump to come on i heard it come on Okay. Drain is working. Front. I hear the fill pump turn on. Uh, I hear the drain in the in the front. Right. Turn our fill on. And then turn the drain. Um, it, if you've got, uh, if you've hooked your grounds up correctly, your lights should come on. 